Hey everybody, Crystal Banway here, and I know, I know I'm going to get a lot of grief for what I'm about to say, but you know what? Someone's got to say it. Might as well be me. Here it goes. Stop whining, everybody. Buyers, sellers, agents, everybody's whining these days. Oh, there's not enough inventory. Oh, I can't get what I want for my house. Oh, I'm writing multiple offers. It's bidding wars. Yada, yada, yada. No one's ever happy. Please, give me a break. You gotta be saying to yourself, things are looking a lot better. I mean, they really are. Think about it. Think about what it was like a few years ago. And since 2011 or so, we've been in recovery mode. Now, it's not gonna happen overnight. It's a gradual process. But we are approaching a normal market. We really, really are. I think everyone's just kind of forgotten what that looks like. People are perceiving as a normal market is like their dream market, you know? Like for buyers, that they can just walk around and there's unlimited houses for sale at like bargain basement prices. If you were really looking for a smoking deal, okay, you should have bought in 2011, but you missed the boat. Get over it, move on. In 2011, we had about 2.9 months of inventory. Median home price was about $81.71 a foot. That's pretty darn cheap. Well, in 2012, it's like the sleeping giant woke up and everyone's like, whoa, we should go buy a house. And that's what happened and prices went up. Here we are in 2013. We've got 1.9 months of inventory, which is slightly more than last year. And our median home price is $113.37 a square foot. Ouch. It looks a lot like 2004. If you look at the median house price right now, which is $169,000, when you factor in our really incredibly like, oh my God, I can't even believe how low our interest rates are, rates, your payment is still less than $1,000 a month probably, even including taxes and, and insurance and all that other stuff they throw in there, which is probably cheaper than most people are paying for rent. So it makes economic sense to buy a house. But for some people, you know, it's not the most important thing to them and they're willing to wait. This is normal demand. And people that just are tired of paying rent, or maybe they want a bigger house or a smaller house or whatever. In fact, this year, to me, anecdotally speaking, buyers just seem to be like lackadaisical, you know? Eh, you know, maybe I'll buy a house now or maybe I'll just do it in a couple months. Because the market right now isn't being driven by crazy, insane demand, that's what forced this bubble, that whole, you know, out of control price increase. People with out, outrageous, unrealistic expectations for investment real estate returns, but simply like a normal demand or even a slightly lower demand by people who are like, you know what, maybe I'll buy a house. It's been three years, you know, since I had my short sale, maybe I'll buy. It, it seems like it's more like that. That's gonna keep things kind of calm and peaceful and slowly recovering like it should be. Our distressed inventory is also shrinking. In 2011, that magical year when there was like so many opportunities, 47% of the homes sold were REOs, bank owned properties, and 19% were short sales. This year, right now, 11% of the homes sold in the last month were REOs, 14% were short sales. That's 25% folks, 25% distressed, leaving 75%. Houses being sold by some guy sitting on his porch, drinking lemonade, thinking, you know what? I got time to wait. So no worries, people. Just be calm, okay? Have a good, positive outlook. If you want to buy a house, you can. Just write a good, smart, strong offer and be realistic in your expectations. Sellers, yes, buyers want a house, and there's a lot of interest in certain areas but you're not gonna get an outrageously over the market amount for the house, you're just not. So be realistic in your expectations too. And if you wanna throw an egg at me or whatever, you know where to find me, Kristen at here at phoenix.com, that's where. Go out, make it a great day, and hey, be realistic and positive and you'll get good results. Cheers.